yourself at home, the quicker we can move and to get you to where you need to be. Uh, I don't want to have to keep rehearsing the same stuff. Because we got to move on. We got other information I got to teach you. You got a lot of stuff to get down. A lot of stuff to get down. And so uh, if you, you got you to take it serious. You got to take it serious. So let me ask you, what makes you want to do boxing, man, bro? I don't know, man. I just, I love boxing. I always love boxing. I'm trying to be great. You want to be great? Okay, do you know him? Yeah, I've, I've been. I know who Elijah no, is. No, like, do you really know him? Let's just know him as his son. Like, I know, I've, I've seen him on You've seen his YouTube, fight before? on his Instagram, too. I'll follow him and stuff. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Been, see his last fight. Okay. Yeah. So... Which of the boxers do you watch? Like, I watch a lot of fighters. I like a lot of fighters. My favorite, Canelo, Davis, Davis. Checker, okay. Devin Haney. Okay, yeah. we hope to see you in the next five. How old are you now? I'm um, about to be 17 next month. 17, 16, yeah. next four years, 21. Yeah. I'll be looking so. for you. Hope to four see four. you, you know, up there. Yeah. That's one of the top, um, um, top boxers yeah. in Oklahoma City or... In, yeah, in, in the be. U.S. Oklahoma City, U.S. Okay. Yeah. It makes it tough for you. you know, well, he got you. Huh? If you follow your lead, you know, you yeah. can get him there. Yeah, you got to follow the lead. Uh, um, but it's, you know, it's difficult to follow some lead. You know, cause I'm, I'm going to I'm, I'm put him through the rest. Okay. Like, I'm going to put him through it. If he want to go through it, then he'll be all right. If he don't, then he won't. Uh, many of them, they say they want to, till it's time to, time to do the work, then they fall off. Fall off. They fall off. Oh. Yeah, coach. The, the easy part is to say it. The hard part is to, to do you it. You just, I was about to ask you a Chalo question. <laughs> because Chalo said he was going to beat Canelo. <laughs> it was Chalo. Yeah. He was just talking like, you know, it was going to be Canelo, right? Yeah. But when he got in the ring, he was, you know, he was running around. Well, honestly, this is my opinion. Uh, he was able to get the fight with Canelo. He knew it was going to be a big payday. Okay. It will probably be the biggest payday that he'll ever have, whether he wins or loses. So, of course, he's going to say that he'll fight. He can win. He'll do whatever he, he needs to do to secure the fight. And, and, and he had a puncher's chance to win. <coughs> but honestly, I don't think he ever thought that he could ever really actually win anyway. Uh, that's my opinion. But, you know, they do that because, of course, they want to sell the fight. They want to make the fight. You know, it's it's a it's a dream, it's a memory. Even if you don't win, you've been there. I've been there. Yeah, I, but, but coach, I, 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 that would take the I juice the out of boxing, lane. man. Because uh, if I, I said that would take the juice out of boxing, if everybody's just talking like that, they know that they're not gonna. It's like fixing the the match. Well, it's not it's not that he ain't gonna give it his best shot, but it it would be hard for me to really think that he. He could be Canelo. Canelo. It's hard for me. And maybe he did. He didn't even put up a fight, coach. Uh, he didn't put up a fight. Yeah, because I don't think that he thought that he could probably do. I mean, he, you, I can't it's, get That's too not much. you. Yeah. Sorry, he kind of talked himself into the way to the fight. <laughs> and we were talking about the same thing. Roley definitely did that with Tank. Like, Roley yeah. talked himself into that fight with Tank. Right. So I was saying, I was like, I kind of somewhat got to do the same thing. But, like, because of where I come from and the situation that brought me to the position that I'm at, I can't be, like, extra vulgar and, like, and like I can't Can go I too something? far. Because if I do, if I, if I go too far and... I make a mistake. It, it just puts too much pressure to where that's you make a you. mistake. Then you know what I'm saying. Then, that's then not you. Your, your career is tainted at that point. Obviously, you can look at Broner as the most significant yeah. example of that. He's, he's still he's still talking trash. Uh, yeah. He's still talking yeah. trash. I mean, but I'm that's what I'm saying. But it's like 
you it's okay like you even if you, you talk trash and lose it's okay depending on how you go about it like if, if you're you just about being it, bon- you go bon- about it too raunchy yeah. yeah too raunchy too hardcore uh that a level of expectation goes it's up it goes up yeah and then the higher it goes up and you lose the worse the devastation of yeah music. like the worst the worst the, 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 you make the you fan look super bad yeah <laughs> but, but, but coach here's the thing like my thing is even though if he lost it wasn't even trying to put his life on the line like if you watch um terence no, terence crawford for yeah well, terence crawford point. and yeah like <laughs> spence yeah. wanted to die in the ring even though he lost but this well, dude well. After the fight, you can't even tell if he just get out of well, the ring. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes it is it was for the big payday. The whole reason why anybody's boxing most of the time yep. is not for the glory. You'll find very small. Back in the day, it used to be for the glory, yeah. for the rights to say I'm the best. Now it's for the paycheck. paycheck. It's for the money. So they'll do whatever they can to do for the money. If you know you come from a house that makes sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year mm-hmm. between your mother and father. Yeah. Six sixty or seventy thousand dollars a year. And now you're getting ready to make a million. Mm-hmm. I would take the chance to, and get beat up too. <laughs> but Cody, he wasn't even trying to get beat up. He was running away. Yeah, yeah. Because if he, if he if he get beat up because, so bad, yeah. people will be like, okay, okay, at right. least he still get the beat. Right. He took the check. No. But see, and but run. he. No, <laughs> no, no, that's, that's Und- not understand. true. I've seen that. Understand. I've seen that disproven too. Though. Well, understand. He has a, he had an escape goal. He worked it out really well. Yeah. yeah. He had an escape goal mm-hmm. that he went up two weight classes. Class. Yeah, yeah. Now if I go back down to my weight, I'm I'm the bomb again. Yeah. But up I'm here, still, I'm still undisputed. Yeah. I'm still up here. Yeah. It was too much. So I made the money. Money. But now if it's go back down here and keep whooping butt, so he had an escape. Yeah. A clause that he put inside the, nobody really realized but you gotta pay attention. He 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 gave him a he gave himself a nice little escape. Man, I went up two weight classes. And that is pretty tough. There's only a few people who've ever been able to do it. Mayweather being one of them. You know, you don't find very many people that can go up two weight classes and dominate in two weight classes. What do you think about Derrick may, James? May, man, maybe coach? one. Derrick James? Uh, the coach of the year does he deserve the coach of the year? Because two of his fighters just, you know. Well, the whole thing is that I really don't know a whole lot about, about him, him on what he teaches and what he does. I just know his fighters. And can you truly judge a coach by, okay. by his fighters? fighters? Yes and no. Because fighters don't always pay attention to the coach. Uh, I've had quite a few examples of that that I have fighters that they don't pay attention so then when they lose it reflects me yeah. but he really didn't do what I told him to do, to do you know and he probably would have turned out something different if he would have listened so does does a fighter really reflect the coach yeah, yeah, yes and no so I don't know what he's doing outside. Okay. Maybe other people have more insight. Maybe he's a philanthropist and he maybe he helps other kids and maybe he does some other things that make him okay, more okay, deserving. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know what all the qualities that they're looking for to say you're the coach of the year. I don't really know, but uh, I know it can't just be just because your fighters are beating everybody. It has to be something else that, that's... Yeah. He was then in there. So, I don't, I don't, Do you I don't. think he got he has too much on his plate though? Because he has a Anthony Joshua, he has a Charlo brother, even the other twins. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking he probably got out. Then he got Errol no, Spence. No, no. The reason why I say that is because uh, 
they fight so far apart from each other. But he doesn't take a break. It's back to back, back to back. Seems well, um. But, but that, that's fine to him. I mean, he's not a fighter, so he can. You can train one person for a couple of months, and as soon as he get ready for a fight, I can go to train with this guy. <laughs> then I can go train with this guy, and I might have five or six fighters, but they're all spread it out during, you know, the course of the year, where it's not very difficult. Could it be the coach is looking for money too? Because of course. The, the same day uh, Spence lost his fight, he mm -hmm. had to travel down to London right. to to be with Joshua. Of course, of course, of course. So if you have a fight fighter, right, and you care about your fighter, even when your fighter lose a win, you're supposed to be there for him. Uh, well, it depends on what you're saying. I mean, you know, there for him anyway because it's a business. It's a business. It's a bi it was going to be a business for me. It's going to be a business. It's a business for him. It's a business for. But a, why a, you don't have too many fighter artists? Like well, elite fighter. Well, I you know I toned down, not necessarily because of uh, just being with him, but it's my wife had something to do with it. You know, she wanted me to be at home more. Uh, so there's there's different different reasons. Coach, you raise a good point. Yeah, and so yeah, Derek James have, has a to, wife too. Yeah, but he has key to, too. So how does he balance that? Yeah, but that's what you got to figure out. So so, you know, but maybe his wife don't imp impose as much of an issue as maybe my wife do. Maybe my pose, maybe my wife may pose more of an issue, and maybe his wife don't. Hey, just I don't care how long you stay gone. Just pay the bills, and I'm good. And some wives maybe want to spend time with you, so it just it just depends. Every situation varies. I feel in my own. I feel like it's not giving each fighter like it's under percent like what they needed to get to that to to to, to get that win. Well, you can't always blame it on on. He can't blame everything on me as much as I love him because I'm I'm just the information. I'm just to help with the information, but. He's the one that's in the ring. So the IQ really has to come from him. Only thing that I can tell him, I got one minute to tell him what to do. But he has three minutes to initiate everything and do whatever. And sometimes I don't get a chance to tell him everything. <laughs> sometimes he has to make adjustments 